now let us discuss about tcp connection establishment we know that tcp stands for transmission control protocol tcp is a connection oriented protocol so a connection has to be established between the client and the server before transmitting the data so here tcp connection mainly involves three pages the first one is tcp connection establishment second one is data transfer third one is tcp connection termination in this video we are going to discuss about tcp connection establishment so how the connection will be established between the client and the server so after establishment only the transferring of data will takes place here uh, tcp uses full duplex communication we know what is full duplex the data will be transmitted in both directions at the same time so simultaneously data will be transferred between the both directions okay uh, here uh, for connection establishment tcp uses three way handshaking here we have client here we have server so totally we require uh, three steps so let us see the first step client sends sin segment to the server so sin stands for synchronization this sin segment specifies that i want to establish a connection with you so that means client is sending client is sending sin segment to the server in order to establish a connection with server so for that uh, it has to provide some information uh, scp stands for sequence number so here the sequence number is 100 it may be any random number so for this segment uh, sequence number is 100 so here this is the first step client is sending sin segment to the server in order to establish a connection with server now let us see the second step server acknowledges the client segment and server sends sin segment to the client so that means server is sending acknowledgement ack plus sin so if we see here so server is accepting then that sin segment after that server is sending sin plus acknowledgement segments to the client mission to the client mission so this acknowledgement is for the previous sin segment whereas this sin specifies that server also want to establish a connection with client so what is the meaning of this uh, server sin segment i want to establish a connection with you so if we see the information here this uh, the acknowledgement number here is 101 the acknowledgement number sent by the server is 101 so here what is the uh, client sin segment sequence number 100 so here that acknowledgement number is nothing but 100 plus 1 that is 101 so this 101 specifies that next server is expecting a segment with the sequence number 101 so if you see here Uh, here the client is receiving that those segments and after that client is providing an acknowledgement so that acknowledgement specifies that i am ready to have a connection with you and it is providing information sequence number equal to 101 why because client receives acknowledgement for 101 so the next segment sequence number is 101 so here what is the sequence number 200 it may be any random number here the sequence number 
received by the client mission is 200. So it is providing acknowledgement for that sequence number plus 1. So 200 plus 1 is nothing but 201. So if you see here, so what is the sequence number here? 100 is the sequence number. Whereas, whereas uh, server is providing this segment with the acknowledgement 101. So this is 100, this is 101. Next client is sending a sequence, a segment with the sequence number 101. So 100, 101, 101. So this 101 is nothing but sequence number plus 1. Next client is sending a segment with the sequence number 101. So likewise if we observe this transmission also. Here what is the sequence number? 200 is the sequence number. So next acknowledgement number is 201. So if server sends another segment then the corresponding segment uh, sequence number is 201. 201. So likewise we have to proceed. So 100, 101, 101. So likewise 200, 201, 201. So here we have uh, uh, three steps. So this is first step, second step, third step. So that's why we can call this as three-way handshaking. So for connection establishment TCP uses three-way handshaking. In the next video, we will see how data transfer will done as well as how the connection will be terminated.